I've been flying drones for the last five years. It's great, and I love flying them. The freedom of flying and seeing the world from a new perspective is something that baffles me every single time. Last year, I got a new drone, the DJI Avata. It allowed me to capture videos like never before in the FPV mode. Flying an FPV drone in manual mode is nothing like flying a regular consumer drone. You are in full control of the sticks and all the flight assists are gone. It requires practice and it took me a solid 10 hours of simulator training to feel even a little bit confident in flying it. During the fall here in Sweden though, I haven't been able to fly outside because of the bad weather. And now that I have over 60 hours of simulator training, the question remains, how good does the training translate to real life? The amount of time that I have spent in the FPV simulator this fall has been intense. But I feel like if I'm going to make this video and see how the FPV skills actually translate into real life, I need to have a real FPV drone. Nice. I like it. Feels good. Charging with USB-C. Welcome to Tango 2. <laughs> A tiny remote keychain. How cute! Ooh. The GEP RC Mark V with DJI 03 transmission. That's basically the same camera that you have on the DJI Avada, but this camera is mainly going to be for the possibility to see in the goggles, and then we're going to put another camera on top of this. Before I bought this drone, I was reading up a whole lot online to see what kind of drone that was actually gonna be a simple way into real FPV drones. And I found a lot of good reviews on this one. The external camera that I'm going to use is gonna be the GoPro Hero 11 Mini. This has gotten some really good reviews and I'm super excited to see the footage coming out of this because I think that this is gonna crush the Avada, especially with the real steady, but we're gonna have to see. I've been trying to figure this out now for 12 hours, how to make this start with this controller. Let's see if we can get it to work. Propellers. Oh! Look at that, huh? Nice! It's a hassle, even though it's one of the simpler versions when it comes to FPV. But I really want to compare the difference between this and the DJI Avada to see which one that I think is the best and why one is better than the other. Unfortunately, the weather here in Sweden is incredibly bad right now because it's just raining and it's dark and it's raining and it's dark, but I might have an idea for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, damn. Swoop. There. Oh, that's it. So you have the winter, dude. Uh, there has to be something wrong with the camera. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 oh, that's more like it. Nice. Place. Villa Levy West. Tip of the man himself. I told you we're gonna take care of you when you come <sighs> to Finland. And this is such a sick space. It's right on the slope, right on the ski hill. I'm trying to get him to start skiing, but we haven't, we haven't pushed him over I yet. I can't. I can't ski because my knee is like, it's it's just dead. I had a little bit of an injury when I was a younger kid, and then uh, ever since then it's been bad. Arnold Fleur is out here, he's just shooting a couple of banger shots off the sunrise, as you can see. He's standing there, super focused. Why? Well, uh, how's it going here? It's going good. How's it going at your place? Uh, it's going very good. Are you uh, getting some banger shots, Ella? You know what? I actually am. Thank you for asking, good sir. Oh, nice to see you. It's going to be a great weekend. <laughs> it's going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Teppo just said that we're going snowshoeing. Woo! And snowmobiling. That's we're going to snowmobiling first. That's sick. Yeah. It's going to be wild. Big shoes. 
Have you ever snowmobiled? No. 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 Okay. So no you're not snowmobiled. I've never even seen. You see these trees? Yeah. I think that I'm going to be obsessed about taking cap <laughs> pictures of the trees. <laughs> they they, they look you know. so good. I've never been in a place with it's this much snow no, on, on everything. Every single thing. And it's like minus 20 degrees or something. Yeah. It's nuts. It's going to be wild. I reckon the beards will be frozen. Oh, maybe. Got a little bit too cocky. You say that. Um, I'm gonna start the beeping. I don't think it's that far away though. I crashed somewhere there. I'm certain that we'll find it. I have an entire crew helping me trying to find the Avata. It contains the footage. It's not that I didn't know how to fly or did, couldn't control it, just that the, there was a branch in the way. Yeah? Teppo. What do you think about finding the drone? We find it, it's a miracle. It's Chris's miracle. Okay, silent. Yeah. Here we go. I think we found it. Hey! I got it! Yes! Oh! Yeah! Woo! Oh. Would you look at that? I found the drone. I'm also dead tired right now. Oh. May I ask you what, what what your company name is? If someone wants to rent a scoot or a scoot, scooter, a scooter. So, <laughs> what, 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 what's like, have we got the name? Snowmobile. Yeah. Snowmobile. Okay. Yeah. Our company is called Harri Niva. Harri. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop a link down below. Yeah. Harri Niva Holtons and Safaris. This is the man who knows his shit in Lapland. Highly recommend. Link in the description. So just go straight and turn right and just yeah. go through that one. Yeah. I forgot how to do this already. You got it, bro. What's the way to do it? Do you just go like that? You feel it. You just feel it? Trust the pause. Is it your turn next? <laughs> I'm gonna try to show you exactly how deep the snow is. It's impossible to walk in. Yeah! It's incredibly deep. I have never been in a place where this much snow is on the ground. Go, go, go! Go, Tempo! <laughs> nice! been hiking up this mountain. Yeah, do you see the landscape here? Honestly, I live in Sweden, but I've never been to northern northern parts of Sweden. But this, this is magical. It's like a fairy tale. We finally made it to the top depot. We made it! Hey! Look at here's that. Your, here's your reward. Thank you.
crash. Oh crap. You crash? Yeah. When you're flying an FPV drone, something that will happen is crashing. We're about to embark on a journey trying to find it. And I think it's somewhere out there. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a hard time. Wow. I just lost the beep. So now I'm on my own. I just the only thing that I see is the last camera view before crashing. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna find it, but my hope is fading away, unfortunately. I've been walking around for an hour now. I've been scouting, trying to find the last piece of the puzzle to find the drone. I sent up Tepa's drone, trying to find the tree with the last camera view and I'm just hoping that this might be the place <sighs> following the path of uh, I don't know Fjell Rev or something <sighs> I think I think that that might be it <sighs> see that that's a part of the tree this has to be it don't tell me that this is the motherfucking drop! Yeah! Oh, I got it! I found it! And look at that! I walked just past it the first time! Wow! Oh, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I got the fucking drone! Holy shit! Camera's all snowed up. I found it, Tempo! It was a little bit cold coming down from the mountain, but the beard definitely got its shape. I haven't flown a regular 5-inch FPV ever in my life, but now this is going to be the maiden voyage of the Jeff RC Mark V. Please don't make us do another rescue mission. We don't have time. If I crash this, it's going to be it's gone. Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. I'm feeling, uh, whew. <laughs> you know? the, the jitterbugs. And I have no idea how the camera angle is. I've just adjusted it in the studio. It's gonna be a little bit nervous. Are we ready? We're ready. I'm just gonna hit record. Got it. Okay. Oh my god. You didn't lift? <laughs> I'm so scared there. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Propellers, are they the wrong way? Oh no. Because it's probably pushing it down, not up. Yeah, probably. Oh hey, crap. Trial and error, trial and error. Trial and error. error. Get back, back to. <laughs> I was super stressed because I installed the propellers uh, on the evening, the night before heading up here. So I had, I didn't, I didn't look into the manual. <laughs> it happens, it happens. This is the, the learning curve of a new piece of technology. Yeah, and also if you're watching this video and you find it enjoyable, make sure you subscribe to Teppo. He's oh. the one holding the camera. Oh. He, he's so close to 100K. We definitely should get him there. He's one of the kindest guys on earth. Getting those sweet, sweet, sweet angles for him right now. Now, we got outwards. Outwards. I hope this is gonna be it. Are you ready for flight number two? I uh, don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, yep. there we go. Yeah. We ready? Yep. Yeah. Ouchie mama, that went fast in the air. <laughs> How does it feel? That feels weird. It feels strange. What a strange sensation compared to other Vata. <laughs> it feels so much more heavy in my Could barely catch that thing, it was so fast. <laughs> uh, 
That was scary. Successful but... mission. Yes, the props on the wrong way first. <laughs> <laughs> but you just did it. You just that flew a whole new FPV. Simulated practice can definitely translate to this. It feels like I was able to control this just the same way as the liftoff simulator and didn't feel that sketchy. I actually think that the angle that I set on the drone was a little bit too uh, held back. Yeah. You know, I could have could have gone with steeper angle, but um, it was it was a weird sensation. On onto the next battery. Yeah. <laughs> This was such a beauty to fly. This, it felt amazing and uh, can't wait to set it up again. But what, what kind of stresses me out about flying this is that you don't have all the fail saves that you got on the DJI Avata. And that kind of makes it hard to recommend this as sort of like the first drone that you should buy when jumping into FPV. Because if you're gonna buy this, you're gonna buy a camera, and then you're probably gonna buy the remote control, then you're gonna be up in the same money as the DJI Avata. And also the batteries, don't forget those, together with the charger. So the money that you'll spend is going to be approximately the same when all costs are kind of calculated but you have so many safety features with the DJI Avata that you can use in case of an accident but after flying the simulator for over 60 hours and then the DJI Avata and then jump over to this I have to say that this was a freaking joy to fly